This train station is so pretty. We are taking the train from Copenhagen to Billund in Denmark. I love riding trains and seeing all the beautiful views. We made it to our hotel. It's pretty much we are a legal land. Need a little break from our travel. It's a bit tiring traveling logistically with several other people and our baby. But I'm incredibly grateful for this time we have and the opportunity to share new experiences with some of our loved ones. Very thankful that my sister-in-law booked this colorful and fun room and planned this entire trip. Here's a little mini tour of our room. So much color everywhere. You can't help but just be so happy. Wow, look at this view! The next day, we spent time at Lego House. Time to check in! So many cute details on the first floor already. Here we got to see how some Legos are made. And each person gets a small packet of regular size or Duplo Legos. Paul and I both ended up getting Duplos for our baby. This was one of my favorites, and it was just casually hidden near the elevators. This Lego tree was so tall. It was as high as at least three floors and had hidden details throughout. Time to learn a little more about the history of Legos. Again, I can't pronounce it correctly, but Ole Kurt Christiansen founded Lego in 1932 and is still owned by the Kurt Christiansen family today. Legos originated in Billund, the current city that we are in right now. Lego came from abbreviating the two Danish words, Leggot, which means play well. Our whole family are big fans of Lego. One of my baby's favorite toys ended up being the Duplo set we got here earlier. Playing surely builds up a big appetite. Time to eat! To order our food, we had to put specific Lego pieces into a machine at our table for processing. I forgot to film it, but it was so cool and the LEGO servers deliver our food in LEGO-shaped bento boxes. Do it, Berta. This is Daddy's. Whoa, that was gonna fall. Got it. Thank you. Wow. 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 Oh, it's two layers. Two layers. Two layers. Oh. 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 I 
I got potatoes, caprese salad, baked salmon, and a mushroom medley. Yeah. All of the food was actually pretty good. Other options that people got were meatballs, fruits, and fries. An overall 10 out of 10 unique experience that I highly recommend. Such a fun play area for kids. People are incredibly creative. I wonder how long it took to build all the pieces in this building. This dress was another favorite of mine. Look at how intricate of a design this is. The designer actually wore it too. Just so in awe of everything, I can't believe all of this is made out of Legos. They had several ducks hidden throughout all the displays here. My family and I ended up finding all of them and we got a trophy as a reward. My family and I also created our own game for the trip. We had several categories and we each had to turn in a photo. The best photo was picked by Paul's mom, and the ultimate winner got to choose their own Lego set of their choice. Spoiler alert, Paul and I both won, and we ended up picking the typewriter as our prize. An end to a very fun day. The next morning, we went to Legoland. I've never been to Legoland, not even the one in California. So everything was a surprise to me. <laughs> Time to be a ninja. Definitely not the right outfit to be a ninja. But I made it through. I love flowers, both real and Lego ones too. So pretty. Ended the day in the miniature area with replicas of different cities. Everything looks so realistic and I love that it had moving parts like boats, trains, and buses. Were the people there or the people got off? They're there. Just another reminder of how beautiful Denmark is. So happy we got to have a taste of Copenhagen and Billen. Until next time, thank you for watching.